How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nobel Tech and today I bring you an iOS 16 updated video on how to lock any individual app on your iPhone. And when I say lock, I do mean Face ID, Touch ID or passcode lock any application that you want. So you know those apps that you don't want anyone to have access to just yourself so with this tutorial i'm going to teach you how you can select individually those apps so when you tap on one of those apps it's going to ask you for face id touch id or passcode every single time you're going to be 100 percent safe so without further ado let's get started because it's super super simple so we're going to use this application to do it it's called shortcuts and as you probably know already, it's an Apple native application, so it comes pre-installed on any and all iPhones. But if for any reason you don't have it, you have deleted it or anything, all you have to do is head to the App Store and then, of course, search and search for shortcuts. As I said, it's a free Apple application, right? So tap on shortcuts and then right here at the bottom bar, tap on automation on this mill icon right here and then tap on create a personal automation now all you have to do is scroll down just a little bit until you see app as you can see right there tap on app and here we're going to create our automation here is where our trick is going to live so you can leave is opened selected that's exactly what we want is opened so leave it on and then here we're going to choose the app or of course the apps because you can do this on one, two, three, or as many apps as you want, okay? And then tap on choose, and then you're gonna choose the apps that you wanna individually lock. So I'm gonna use the files app because I have a ton of important information there. So I'm gonna tap on done, and I wanna do more. So I'm gonna tap on files once again, and I'm gonna put Instagram. So Instagram and done once again. So then I have two apps, but as I said, you can do this for multiple apps and then tap on next and then here we're going to add the action so tap on that action then tap on the search right here the search bar and then look for timer so search for timer as you can see and then start timer and then as you can see it will automatically say five minutes but we don't want five minutes we want one second so then tap on minutes and go for seconds and then tap on five where it says five and tap on one and then you can tap on next all right so as you can see here when those two apps are opened the timer will start and as before running you need to disable that so disable and then tap on don't ask so don't ask and again right here where it says notify when run you can leave it off as well so leave both off and then tap on done for the final time so then it's all set it's all here our automation is set but before it's actually fully functional we need to go back here to the clock application because here is where the timer lives and we need to change one thing in timer which is when timer ends so tap there and instead of picking a song, which is the default thing, you can scroll down, all the way down, and tap on stop playing, and then set. So now we are 100% done when timer ends, stop playing. And let me show you in action, no tricks, no gimmicks, nothing like that. As I go ahead and I tap on files, it's gonna automatically lock. So did you see? the little um, notification here with the dynamic island saying timer yeah that will only appear in the iphone 14 pro and 14 pro max on all the other iphone models it just doesn't show up okay nothing will show up the application will open up and in one second it will lock because as you can see my iphone is completely locked so then of course if i want to use my iphone all i have to do is point to my face swipe up and then it's back. It's back in the Files app. I can use the Files app as I would completely normally. And this is actually how it works. So as you tap on the application that we have selected in the Shortcuts app, it's gonna automatically lock and it's gonna ask you for your Face ID, Touch ID, or your normal 
passcode, okay, that it needs to type it in. So if anybody tries to open up that app, they're locked, they're locked out because it's gonna lock and it's gonna go back to the lock screen. And I'm gonna do the same thing here with Instagram. So as you can see, as I tap on Instagram, it's gonna instantaneously lock. And then of course, I'll have to point to my face and uh, use Face ID to unlock it. And it's gonna ask you every single time. So if I go ahead and tap on Instagram once again, it's gonna lock it. I can unlock it, I can use it, no problem. But as I exit the app, if I wanna use it once again, it's gonna ask every single time. Same thing with your Files app as well. So it's always gonna ask, not after a minute, not after a few seconds, no, it's always going to ask. And of course, you can easily edit everything here in the Shortcuts app. So if you open it up, you can tap on your automation, and right here, you can tap on those, in my case, two apps, so I can tap on two apps, and here, any of two apps, tap on it once again. And here, I can select or deselect any apps. Like, for example, I can go ahead here to Files. I can deselect Files and then Done. And as you can see, it's now only Instagram. So you can add, remove, and do whatever you want. And also, if you come back here on Added Automation, you can easily enable or disable it. Right here, enable this automation. So if you turn it off, and tap on done. As you can see, it'll be completely off. I'll be able to open up Instagram, no problem. And then that's how I recommend you to use. You can have this automation right here, always leaving right here, and then you can choose whether you want it off or on, depending on where you are and depending on who's around you. So then you can easily enable it back on, for example, tap on done, and it's back. All right, so that's it. That's what I wanted to show you, how to lock any individual app on your iPhone. If you liked it, if it was helpful to you, please make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe button and little bell icon, and always, always, always leave your feedback down below as well. It's always very important to me, okay? So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one as usual. Bye-bye.